G'day everyone, welcome back to Tourist Bus Simulator. We haven't done one of these, <laughs> well, I haven't done one of them. not we, I haven't done one of these for uh, quite a long time. And I do apologise for that if you're waiting for episode 3 to come out, but uh, here it is. So, what we've done so far is we purchased our first bus, um, and we got our first employee and did our first recurring job, which... Uh, we can see up on the board here. Um, so that's a uh, 1500 in the afternoon. It's a three in the afternoon um, recurring job. The recurring job meaning that infinity symbol there and that symbol there meaning that we have run that so that we can have an employee on it. Employee on it. It's telling us now that uh, we need to go to the other computer. What is the other computer? Ah, this one over here. And we'll check in here. So click on this button to see your stock of snacks and drinks for the sightseeing tours. By clicking on this button, you can see your current stock of spare parts for vehicle repair. Okay, we'll continue on there. I don't think we need to go in here because I'm pretty sure we have to buy snacks from the supermarket. Uh, and spare parts. We don't have a mechanic yet, so we can't do any of that. Okay, go to the filing cabinet. So we're just going to follow this on a little bit further. Click on these buttons to see the different kinds of contracts. You have the choice between vehicle insurance, loss insurance or failed orders due to sick staff, contracts for Wi-Fi on board your vehicles, contracts for spare parts deliveries. By clicking on this button, switch to the column for concluded contracts. Click this button to go to the section for contract offers. So I assume these are contract offers. Uh, vehicle insurance, loss insurance, I think would probably be a good one. So 1400 a month. Uh, so that's 60%. I assume that's 80% of what your job costs if you have a sick employee. So we might just take on that. Oh, shit, we cancelled it. Okay, let's try that again. We'll take on the lower one. So, there it is, loss insurance. Uh, we've taken that out for $1,000 a month, and that'll give us 40% of our job cost. We don't have any contracts available. Uh, vehicle insurance, 700 a month, 50% of the vehicle. Uh, 800 a month. I'm not sure what this 10% figure is. Whether that's some form of depreciation or something like that, I'm not sure. So I'm just going to leave all that for now. What's it going to tell? Go to the calculator in the next room. We can do that. Uh, by clicking on this button, you will receive an overview of current income and expenses. If you want to see more details about your earnings or expenses, click on the corresponding button. These buttons allow you to receive new loans or take a look at your current loans. Okay, that makes sense. Current amount, uh, I think that's our current, yes, that's our current, what's, what's in our bank account anyway. Uh, overall expenses 45,000 I assume that's a total uh, revenue of the last seven days 1500 because we've been stuffing around and our weekly expenses are 3802 that's not going to bode very well at all uh, I'm assuming this here is our uh, interest yes That'll be our interest uh, that we're paying per month. And there's our salary per month and our health insurance per month. Uh, revenues, scheduled trips, 1500 and credits, 200 I'm not sure what they are. New credit, 200 okay. Uh, expenses, credits. So yes, we have $200,000 in a loan which makes our residual debt 204,397. Okay, thanks for letting us know how uh, disastrous our life is. All right, this button will give you an overview of your personal performance 
and your business. Click this button to see reports of your recent jobs. So completed tours, drivers one, vehicles one, reports. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, okay, so this gives us a bit of a rundown of each job that we've done. No passengers left at bus stop, sanitary service 100%, aircon 100%, uh, bus status 100%, Wi-Fi because we don't have a Wi-Fi contract. Uh, yeah, okay, beautiful. All right. Go outside and over the yard and enter the workshop. Okay, we shall... You know, uh, no, we'll just go and do it. We'll follow what they're telling us to do. Hello, Mr. Bus. There we go. All right. So here we are here, bus repair. A list of vehicles you need to repair will be displayed here. Click on a vehicle to see more options. The left-hand button displays the general condition of the vehicle. Click on the middle button to see the condition of individual parts of the vehicle. Click on the right button to open the repair menu. To make a repair, you need mechanics for your workshop. Additionally, you may require spare parts, which you can get via delivery contracts. Such a contract can be found and concluded in the contract menu. Okay. No vehicles available, really? Okay. Don't know whether that's a bug out. Get in your car, the expansion. Well, it doesn't look like we're going to get too much in the sense of... Uh, bus driving done at this point in time but hey what the hell let's do it okay start you up there we go all right for some reason it just decided that it didn't want to know that we had a steering wheel but uh, it's all right now so open the map is the map to set a waypoint click on an icon on the map this is not possible during an active order search for the symbol of the garage halls and click on it then close the map again we can do that Where are we uh, garage symbol garage symbol i think it's up here somewhere where are you looking for a garage symbol nope Aha! Uh -huh. Click on that to set a waypoint. Okay, drive to the garage halls. Alright, off we go. Yes, it's been a while. It has been a while. Let's get our cruise control recentered. There we go. Uh, cruise control. Yeah. Let's get our. Uh, track IR recentered more than anything okay so the indicators aren't working which tends to mean that it has dropped all of the controls so we don't have uh, we certainly don't have any indicators or anything like that We'll just deal with it for now. I'll sort it out before next episode, hopefully. Alright. Off we go. 60 kilometres an hour. Beautiful. No indicator. Nope. Alright. So I hope you're well. I hope you're all driving better than what I'm driving. Because at the moment it ain't too well. Yeah, the shitty thing is as well that in this you can't just set up your steering for like, like all your general settings for like cruise control and indicators and all that stuff you got to set it up on every bloody bus every single bus it's a pain in the ass and for this to drop all of my settings I'm not overly happy about it but there you go
I shall deal with it. Uh, it's another nice day. It looks rather muggy out there. But, uh, yeah. Not too bad at all. It feels like they've done some... Uh, there we go, casino. It feels like they've done a little bit of tweaking to this vehicle. When you take your foot off the accelerator now, it doesn't just stop almost straight away. So I'm glad that they've uh, done something about that. I'm pretty sure that I've read on the forums people cracking the shits about that. So, And understandably so, it was a terrible bloody thing. You'd take your foot off the accelerator and the thing would stop straight away. It had no sense of roll or forward momentum. No weight to it. Uh, it still slows down quite a bit, but n not as much. So thank you for doing that, TML. I've been uh, missing the old tourist bus simulator over the last, well, I think it's a few weeks. Might have been six or eight weeks since we did a video on this last time. Um, yeah, I've been busy doing videos for Farm Sim and stuff like that as well, so... And then we had all the Christmas and the New Year period in there, too. Oh, a glitch. Alright. So, I will speak to you when we get over to the new workshop, or the new yard. Okay, here we are, pulling up at another garage. Let's see. Garage Wars, open every day, 24 hours. Automatic gate, it's quite a long way away from our uh, office and stuff, but... <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, park in the yard and exit the vehicle, we can do that. Parker up here, park brake on, turn the engine off, lights off, and C, not E, to get out of the car. Go to the garage hall's office, hello. To expand your fleet, you have to buy a garage halls. If you have made enough money, you can buy and expand these garage halls here. Uh, prices to you do not have enough money to buy this estate for additional parking lots. Price is 250 grand. All right, so what we're going to need to do, I wanted, I did want to buy a second bus, but I don't think we're going to be able to. Click on the fast travel button in the upper right corner of the map. Click on the icon of your office to start fast journey. During the game, you will receive skill points by level ups, and they can be found in hidden stashes. So you need to spend um, fast points to be able to unlock expansions, uh, fast travel to different areas. So thankfully we can fast travel to our office. So let's accept that. Okay, so we are back in the yard and our car has also come back. So we'll get in the car, drive to Antigua, here we go, come on, come on, there we go, thank you, put some lights on because, well, just because, alright, and back to, oh, sorry about that, track IR again, yep, This is really annoying me not having any indicators. Oh, is it annoying me? Where are you going, buddy? That way. Alright. Look out, bus company owner coming through. Okay. 
I am subscribed to the beta for this. Um, so that may be part of the reason why I've lost all of my controls. Um, but I'm not sure. There we go. It does feel a bit weird not indicating though. I'm just so used to it. So, have you been playing this game? How far through it are you? Do you have a massive... Come on, come on, buddy. Do you have a massive bus company already with hundreds of buses? What's your favourite bus to drive around this map? Tell me. Let me know. Leave some comments down below. It's interesting to see how differently everybody plays games like these. But it is. I mean, I played this quite a bit before I started recording videos for YouTube, so... Despite the fact that we're only three episodes into it now, um, I have put quite a few hours into it, so... Alright, I will see you when we get to Antigua. Alright, Antigua in sight. Slow down to 50. Okay, it's telling us to go up here and do a loopy. So we shall do that. Okay. Oh, so you'll probably hear me clicking for the indicators. Nothing coming there, nothing coming there. Sorry, buddy. And around here. Nice tight streets. Alright, uh, I assume we've got to stop up here, so... Yes, we do. Park in the yard and exit the vehicle. I assume they mean that yard. It's not that it's really a yard. Okay. Thank you. Here we are. Lovely. Lights off. And out. Okay, go to the house, which is up there. Uh, stairs, stairs at the back. Yep. There we go. Okay, if you see this symbol on the map, you have discovered an apartment or house that you can buy for yourself. After the purchase, you will receive this. Uh, you will see this icon on the map, and you have activated a new fast travel point. Now click buy. What if I don't want to buy it? I guess I have to. Okay, enter the apartment. Whoa, what's going on here? After you've acquired your first property, you can arrange it. Click on the displayed interaction fields to buy different items of furniture and miscellaneous. On the islands, you can find more real estate for sale, make enough money to be able to buy larger and more luxurious properties. If you want the interaction fields to be visible only at a close proximity, look for the fuse box to switch between the modes. Okay, do we have a flashlight? You have received new skill points. Open the skill point menu via your smartphone to distribute the points. I thought we had a flashlight in this. It is dark in here. What the hell's going on? Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, click on this button to bring up the skill point menu. I apologise about the darkness. Uh, on top you can see your current level, experience and available skill points. Here you can exchange skill points for fast travel locations. You receive skill points by levelling up and you can also find them in sealed containers. You may also need them for certain other occasions, so save a few for later. 
select the fast travel point you want to unlock on the map and then confirm your selection. Available fast travel locations are unlocked by discovering or interacting with certain locations like hotels or restaurants. You also have the option to buy back all skill points by clicking on this button. Lovely. Do we want to use any skill points and unlock any skill points? Not at this point in time, I don't think. No. Okay. Now you've completed all the basics to earn enough money to purchase an extra bus to support your staff. Later you can expand your fleet, hire additional drivers, mechanics and even tour guides. While you gather more experience and explore the island, you will gain access to new type of orders such as shuttles and sightseeing tours. From now on you will have full access to the island to freely expand your company as you see fit. Tutorial done. Still cannot find a light. Let's go into the settings. Okay. Okay, so I fixed my steering wheel up. Can't work out why it's so bloody dark in here. Can't find a uh, change floor. Can't find a light switch anywhere. Cannot find a torch. There's a ceiling lamp there. Uh, you need to locate a hardware store. Alright, cool. So we need to go and unlock some of that stuff, which I obviously won't do while I'm on camera. Alright, so what we need to do now is we need to start making some money. I'm going to have a wander around Antigua. And uh, actually, I might, I might bring you with me just to have a wander around this time. Um, just so that you can see some of the things that we do need to unlock etc and then we'll uh, head back to then I'll head back to the office need to either take out an extra loan so that we can buy that extra yard and get our bus or um, or otherwise work hard at uh, trying to build up enough money to do that so I'm thinking more for the beginning, so that we have one employee. Uh, I'm thinking more of um, probably taking out a loan to be able to get that yard. So, okay, here's the supermarket over here. All right, so I wonder, okay, so left mouse button or game pad face button left mouse button takes us into the shop so here's stuff that we can buy all this stuff here that we buy um, beer chips salami that all goes on to our buses um, and then we can give those out to our passengers which I think increases the rating of um, of our, our bus company so we won't worry about that at this point in time until we get some larger buses rather than the mini buses that we've got but um, we will eventually do that as well as Wi-Fi I mean we're not worried about Wi-Fi at the moment if we have a look at the map uh, let's see we've unlocked these there's a furniture store down here and there's a stash down there so we'll go down and we'll unlock this furniture store which is down this way Unfortunately, this is as far as you can, as fast as you can move in here. Uh, you wouldn't want to be running away from anything at this pace, would you? G'day, buddy. Get off your telephone. I can be a grumpy old man sometimes in regards to telephones. All right, so moving down here at an absolutely rapid pace. Oh uh, look, a traffic jam. I don't think I've seen a traffic jam in here before. There we go, furniture store, let's unlock the hammering. Okay, beautiful. So there's obviously three furniture stores on the map. 
and we've unlocked one of those so that's good don't know how that's going to clear itself assuming they'll eventually disappear because they'll bug out all right I will meet you back at the office All right, everybody, we're back in the office. Uh, we've got $131,000 left because it made us buy that apartment. We need 250 to buy that warehouse, and then we need uh, another 45 or 55 to buy a second bus. So what I'm going to do is probably take out... Three hundred and five grand over five hundred and seventy days. Yes, you got to spend money to make money. So, okay. So now that I've done that, um, bus-wise, I don't think we can purchase one yet. Uh, let's see. Yes, we can. Okay, so we're going to, yeah, 42,000. So we're going to purchase another BB40 at this point in time. Uh, and we'll call this uh, Idiom 02, I think. Yeah, because our, our other one's Idiom 01. So, all right. So that'll be there on the 15th. We'll collect it from the harbour. In the meantime, I need to go over and purchase the... Um, the warehouse which we have the finances for now so I'm going to set a marker for that and I'm going to go down there and purchase it here it is actually I wonder whether we can oh, it lets us fast travel there anyway so we'll just fast travel straight over we'll purchase it and uh, and then we're safe Here we are, right, so, oh, look, our bus is here. Why is our bus here? Uh, do you want to buy this this estate for additional parking? Yes, we do. Uh, two buses, eight spaces, 150. Okay. Time, 14 days. Can you... What's with the tear down the old hall? Price 40000 to tear it down. Uh, build new hall. Oh, okay, we don't have enough money. But I, I assume we own this now, do we? I'm guessing that we do. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can go into our finances here and see if we do. We're only a little bit confused. Okay, so we do have 144, so we did spend 250 grand on that expenses uh, fleet, 334, so I assume that the 250 is from that as well, which means that we do own it. Excellent. Excellent. And from here, we can actually expand it if we need to, so at the moment it will take two buses, I think, and then we can actually uh, we can actually do expansions on it. Beautiful. All right. So what we might do, oh, look at that. That's lovely. What we might do is I might leave it here. And um, sorry we didn't get to do any bus driving, but we were doing all that tutorial stuff. So from now on, it's all company running. There's no more tutorials or anything like that. We own our... Uh, second yard we have a bus down this yard we've purchased a new bus which will be our bus and, um, and we'll be able to start doing a whole pile of jobs so thanks for watching this episode sorry it's been a bit of a mishmash uh, I need to get my controls sorted out for some reason it has dumped all of those but uh, I will see you next time in the tourist bus simulator when we continue on with our company called the Idiom Effect. Thanks for watching, click like if you like, 
and uh, subscribe. I will speak to you soon. Bye, guys.